Okay, so today we have a very extra special episode about building a fashion brand. And today we're gonna dedicate this entire episode to Mid Journey. The reason why I'm doing this episode today dedicated to Mid Journey is because Mid Journey has released updates and guys the photography the quality the imagery you can have today on mid journey it's as you will see incredible and the episode of today is to show you how you can get inspired just sitting in your studio in your home wherever you like in a cafe having a coffee, cappuccino, and so on. So let's delve deep and let me show you what Mid Journey is capable to deliver today. Right, so as you will see from these two images, I'm gonna scroll it and to show you the rest of the images. So I was looking for some inspiration for a photo shoot I will uh, um, hopefully um, create and, and, and shoot very soon in my studio and I was considering to use some colors for the background and some let me show you some other images by the way some uh, you know some sort of matching items like in this case matching items and background as well. I have to say guys, before I turn to um, other images to show you what I have done, let me comment these images for you. So guys, first of all, look, I've been uh, able to uh, ask Midjourney to create a realistic hand so okay you might say that is not fully realistic i know but let me tell you something first and then you will get uh, where i'm going with my point so look at the hand look at the face incredible okay so because i do retouching as well i can see the skin in this case it's beautiful, but it's way overdone. It's, it's a bit too much. However, guys, from my experience in Mid Journey, the photography has improved tremendously. And look at this one instead on the side. I mean, guys, seriously. Okay, you might say that the, um, the hand here doesn't have any vein it's too flat yes it's true but guys i can guarantee that in a time of six months a year you will see photos guys these photos are already quite good because sometimes if you if you keep them small or if you put them on instagram or things like that um you're not going to notice the fact that the the hand doesn't have any vein here or some little imperfection here. But what I'm trying to say, and uh, the reason why I'm doing this video today is uh, the following. So first of all, I was trying to find some inspiration for my, um, for my next photo shoot. And very casually, I have discovered all the improvements Mid Journey has done and the quality of the photography, which is, guys, absolutely brilliant. Okay, look at this one. I mean, yes, okay, this one, the hand, it's a bit. Let's, let's leave it. And um, this one is better. And I was trying to see if Midjourney could, let's say, uh, if I could, in this case, uh, implement one of my 
the designs in this case would have been a bag and asked me journey to create a pose with the model and one of my bag and as you probably understand this is not possible but guys i'm scared to tell you that probably in a year time in two years time you will probably be able to ask me journey to get your bag like from an image or even from a, a probably a 3d design and mid journey will probably be able to get your design or get your 3d and positioning your design the way you want it just you know giving the right prompt to mid journey to say or turn the bag like 30 degrees or I want the bag more uh, three quarter or anything like that so anyway guys frankly these images I mean this one okay the the hand here has probably a bit of uh, an extra finger but has improved really tremendously guys I'm shocked because what we're gonna get in a time of you know um, six months or a year it's like shockingly good okay so look at this one for instance I mean guys this one it's incredible okay the hand it looks a bit creepy here but I mean look at the veins look at the detail which I have asked me journey to pay attention I said in my prompt realistic veins actually I, I should show you the prompt realistic veins realistic nails realistic face I said uh, pigments on the skin and if you see there is a little bit of very little bit of pigmentation on the skin but guys I have to say okay sometimes you have this funny hands that you see it looks like it's got, she's got um, I don't want to say a uh, funny hand but uh, not this one but look at this one how pretty i guess when we get to the point i mean the girls the models are i mean her she is out of this world seriously and look at the bags by the way i've been silly not telling you about the bags i mean look at the bags they're so realistic they're so uh, okay this one is not in the middle let's say uh, if this one was a sort of uh, clasps or something but you know um, all in all you see mid journey doesn't understand that if you put a bag you have to get the symmetry of the bag not like you can see here it's completely out of out of place this one looks a bit more, uh, the bag looks a bit more, I mean, believable, uh, but the photo, it's not particularly good. I love this one, the expression. Guys, what Midjourney is doing now is giving the images coming from your prompt an expression. Frankly, guys, I am shocked, really shocked. For instance, I tried to get more variants of the same item, like in this case, you can see it's the same model. Gorgeous. And uh, yes, of course, there is some imperfection. The nails are not looking completely real. But look at the back, guys. Seriously, look at this one. Look at the expression. Okay this is better than this this one is a bit like but still still uh, still good the nails here have been um have gone wrong i would say 
and these two instead and these two instead are not too bad uh, this one in terms of nails is more believable I mean look at the hand this one is almost perfection look even the rings I didn't ask it to put rings but it was mid journey uh, choice to put the rings on anyway um, this one it's a bit like a uh, nail's gone wrong I mean I'm not gonna take these images and place them onto my website my idea was let's see what I get in terms of inspiration from me journey if I say you know the prompt that I prepared which I'm gonna show you okay so this is the prompt as you can see and it's um, quite detailed and actually in one of my next videos I will give you more uh, detail about how to create a, a prompt because you know you might let me change images otherwise you get bored you might um, you know design or create a prompt thinking that you know it's enough for me journey to understand your um, what you're looking for but sometime um, and I've learned this myself sometime and um, it's much more efficient to give me journey specific prompts with specific uh, let's say commands so guys apart I'm gonna say um, great great images quality i mean guys how can me journey generate something like this in a minute and a half giving the let's say in this case we have models giving the models an expression giving the reflection of the material she's wearing giving the 3d of um, the bag she's um, having in her hand it's just amazing i mean look at the bag the bag is not flat it looks it almost looks a photo so it's scary to see this even if i have to say that from um, one side i'm excited and i'm i love it because this is probably the future and I'm not going to say that we're going to stop uh, using models in fashion and do photo shoots, editorials, uh, videos, and so on. But this kind of artificial intelligence can help smaller brands like my brand, which is a luxury brand, yes, but is smaller than um, many other B, V, etc. And generating something like this will catapult your brand to the very top level of course you can't do fake things if you do an image like this you will have to um, go together with a you know a product that is just as beautiful it might not be the same it might need to be photoshopped we might get to the point like i said at the beginning of my video where we will say to me journey to implement our design like for instance i guess we will get to the point where we will be able to have let's say the um, rendered 3d version which i have of this bag and ask me journey to implement the rendering into the photo and i am totally convinced that in a time of six months a year a year and a half max two years we will be able to say to me journey me journey please get me this bag instead of this bag on the model and you know just providing the uh, 
let's say the, I don't know, the name of the file or probably uploading the file through Midjourney or like I said, it could be some other um, AI uh, as good as Midjourney. But we will get to that point because if we see this today and Midjourney was born in 2022, guys, it's not, it's not been long around. So we will get to that point. Okay, so in conclusion of the video of today, I was trying to do, um, I was trying to get some ideas for a photo shoot. And guys, seriously, this is the mood board. So the mood board will be this um, line, which I adore, can be with black background, or even like we saw before with the green background and as well like i showed you before and uh, because and um, i'm having okay this photo is terrible i'm not going to show you because i'm having some uh fuchsia color already um visible on my website but i've got more other fuchsia products coming very soon and red as well and white as well so i wanted to see uh, how can i uh, do a photo shoot how would it look when i do uh, like a single color for my photo shoots and this is the you know idea the result about how would it look okay so now we're gonna very quickly uh, put a prompt in there and we're gonna see what we can get so i'm gonna copy this prompt and i'm gonna change a few a um, couple of words just to see what we can get okay so not too bad even if i'm gonna say that i probably prefer the pink or the green uh, the lime i showed you before but guys seriously i mean look at the um, expression look at the hair look at the leather reflection it's so realistic look at the back it looks real this one you see mid journey has generated a let's say a bag that is kind of more believable because the design is kind of more in the middle it's more symmetrical this one cute she looks better here than in there i would say but you know it's matter of taste this one probably it screams a bit more fashion than uh, than this one i love her she she looks absolutely gorgeous and uh, well she seems to be a little bit short in uh, uh, Oh no, she's got one, two, three, four. So it's just the the uh, the angle of the hand. But guys, seriously, I mean, look at here. You can see the command uh, pigment or pigmentation works really well because this guys and um, the way she 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 keeps a. Uh, Hubble here is so realistic, incredible. You can see how the, um, you know, the um, arm bend creates this kind of, uh, you know, the muscle here. It's just unbelievable, very fashion. So let's see the others. Um, not too bad. I mean, the girls are beautiful incredibly beautiful and i'm not um, saying anything about that i'm just talking about the uh, um, the result of the images but guys seriously they are not too bad this one is kind of fashion very cute very nice i love the red background and um, i love the um 
somebody might say is a little bit Christmassy. Yes, I agree. Uh, but you know, it depends because if you're doing some red uh, sort of uh, theme, it can work. Maybe you can uh, make it slightly less Christmassy, uh, changing slightly the background towards a different red, like more orangey, or implementing a light that, uh, I don't know, can be a blue light or a um, sort of purpley light that can turn the image in a way that is less Christmassy. But you know, that's why I find my journey so incredible because, okay, let's say I'm gonna do a photo shoot in red. So uh, immediately um, giving um, my journey the prompts or the prompt in this case, I could verify if I'm gonna like the um, photo shoot or not because in this case let's say i was going to do i was going to shoot red i can immediately see that to make it less christmassy you have to add something else or you have to break it down like there is too much red uh, the background is too christmassy etc so that's why i find mid journey absolutely incredible because in a very short time you can verify if you can verify if your vision it's good needs to be adjusted or you know it doesn't work at all in this case not really um this one, for some reason, it's less Christmassy immediately. You can see because the background is more orangey than this red. And, you know, in a way it could work better. And because you can see black, so that thing makes me think, what if you add some black, I don't know, element in the background to uh, break it down and avoid the sort of Christmas sort of feeling of the um, photos. But you know, like we've done with these colors, you can change the colors, you can change millions of things just with a prompt. prompt. And for designers, this is, uh, in a way, it's, a sort of little uh, heaven because we can amplify our design uh, we're not gonna just copy and paste these photos on our website but we will get to the point we can do that in a couple of years or probably even less but it's really good as a filter as you know a let's say a test to see if your ideas can work so that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this um, mid-journey tutorial. And we, I guess we, um, we've we seen beautiful stuff today. And like I said in one of my next videos, today I showed you uh, the prompt for uh, these incredible images. Uh, in one of my next episodes, we will uh, um, touch base on how to make the prompts to perfection. However, you know, if you give it a go, uh, you will improve yourself. But, you know, like I showed you today, there are details that are really important for me journey to uh, read uh, when you type. And through those um, details, Midjourney will um, eventually improve the quality of the photo, like tremendously. So um, before you go, remember to subscribe and tap the bell. Help me to grow this channel so I can help other designers too. So I'll see you in my next episode. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye for now.